We talked about this a lot. B1 Aatrox has been extremely popular all tournament long, and teams have just been trying to find different counter picks. This is yet another unique one against Aatrox. So far, Impact has done very good in this matchup. Up farm, has a Hex Drinker completed, giving him... Oh, we're going mid. Flash ulti mid, we're going to try and get the first blood onto Jojo. Nitsky lining it up, the Chaos Storm is down, and Aoyoya's going to take him. A chain of corruption out of Kauri. He's going to try and find some counter play, but I don't think there's much here. The damage is good. Uh, they're coming back around, but like you said, Jojo didn't lose his Flash for that play. Kind of dropped his Gravity Well on himself and said, All right, you're just going to kill me. I'll hold my sums here so you can't make that play again. EG wants to punish in the bot side. Vulcan a little ahead of the play. He's also going to force the Clan's Flash to Vow. Ulti was ready into the oh. Bell as well. Big alley oop CC chain, and Kai says barely gonna get hit by the end of that ult. Follow up with a twisted advance, Bramble smash back, make it two for EG's bottom lane. And you keep waiting for Mad Lions to engage. But Mad Lions can also just stack objectives. Hold on, Impact in trouble. They can also do this, Impact popping the world ender, but I don't think it's gonna do all too much. Inspired there to save the day, but not today. Oyoya oh, gets another. Kaiser is also there, so Kauri and Vulcan gonna have to fall back. Jojo instead gonna farm the gold on the tower, but inspired face checking. Needed to throw the sapling, and it's gonna bait him in there. He's pretty tanky, but is he tanky enough? Vulcan finds the devourer off the void, and in fact, joined the fight here as well. But now onto Kauri, who's got all the items. The shield boy pumps, but he gets shut down. EG, the first big fight of the game, is gonna go to Mad Lion. Jojo Pune was trying to finish off the bot turret. TP not available means it's a 4v5 right as Baron spawns. Look at Niski on the flank. He's straight under them on the minimap. They can go for a turn. He's got Tom Kench ultimate. Not the best for the engage, but here they go. Yo, you're eating a lot of damage, but it might not matter if they can get the kill. Volk gonna pop the shield and try and stay alive. Impact with the turnaround play. Finds the Q, takes out Niski, and that's gonna be no Baron for Mad. Front to back team fight available. Mad going for the long wraparound. El Yoya gonna go over the red buff wall no impacts there but actually maybe they're gonna peel off they know actually that they've isolated two from mad evan frost there niski's gonna try and turn around but jojo lets the chaos storm go niski he's just gonna be cut to pieces vulcan with that kill credit and that's just such a heads up play by eg they know mad loves to get that flank into this time around they invest so many more members around it i like this here from eg seeing what they can get out of it vulcan clearing the last bit of vision Surprise Bloom Pop does get some vision, as you can see. Those extra plants here on the Ocean Rift helping out. But EG actually got it pretty low here, but I imagine it's a turn angle. Well, they could flip it, though I don't love the idea of that. Kaiser may be caught there. Actually going to go back in onto Jojo Pure, and that's a good target. But again, the crowd keeping him so tanky. And Impact's going to capitalize there to give Jojo the kill. Bit of a misread. Here comes the Equalizer, though. Matt Lines, oh. they want to turn. Niski, a very spicy lad there on the side. Let's trying to make the play happen. He stole the ult. The Unforgiven! He's found the play, but Impact still standing tall in the team fight. Unforgiven low is going to get chased down by the rest of the tanks. And it's madness in the team fight. Both sides crush into each other. Dive the enemy back lines, and six people are dead. Baited, and then he gets left on an island. Teleport, teleport from Niski right now. It's very deep, and there is saplings around to spot him, but here they go. Who will carry the target again. The very salty is going to go, but now they're going to start the fight. Kaiser, the low on the front side as Jojo goes cold, and Vulcan now trying to mark El Yoya, but Jojo has to get away. He takes down Leona with the fadeaway. Chaos Storm, Kauri finds a shot down, and finally EG have found a clean angle in a team fight. Make it three as Niski falls to his old teammate, Vulcan. Gonna go down pretty quickly. We know El Yoya has gone back to base. They don't know that, Double but TP in for Niski again. Now the front side TP out of Mad. It's gone. Oh, they peel off actually. They could have burned that down, but they didn't have eyes on El Yoya. Oh, they're oh, gonna no, turn no, Niski. They've seen him. Niski's just face checking. The flush is good, but now he's behind the EG tower. The only nice out equalizer. of Unforgiven's really nice. Equalizer also good, but I think Niski is gonna be left for dead. That Chaos Storm, pretty nice. Sony's gonna buy some time. Mad back to Baron, but Niski is going to die here. Mid Niski die. Mad Lion Theft turn on towards the Baron. It's going down quickly. It's quiet around, but I'm not sure if he can get in he's there. Going for he it. Can't get it. Unforgiven left alone, gonna get blown up as Jojo is soloing out the enemy support, and that will break this game open. Evil geniuses find the pick on Daniski. They get the collapse. Inspired rides. He's the shortest one around. Uh, yo, yeah, you're good, but you're not that good. EG, they're coming in towards the base now. Baron of minions, Nexus Tower's falling. A tense affair, but the first game looks like it's gonna break the way of EG. It's only Eloya left to defend. And evil geniuses will find their first win in uh, world matches against a European team. No one beats EG 10 times in a row. <laughs>
needs magic damage when you have true damage. JoJo's gonna land every haymaker, trial <laughs> by fire. There you go. Nice. Absolutely enough true damage to burn through three tanks. <laughs> Mad Lions bot lane with Kaiser wrapping around, having pressure. Hold up here, early gank topside. Love this look out of Elioia. Impact in trouble. Gonna have to find the fat flash, or maybe just not gonna use it. No, he does get it, but Elioia chases. Pillar is there, Q is good. That's gonna be first blood again for Elioia. Of being in towards the enemy red side, clearing away some of the camps, getting an experience lead. I do believe it took away the Crocs too. Now he's in a position to gank the mid lane. Fascinating mid 1v1, but Inspired gonna make it very uneven. Flash Q is gonna get the knockup. Niski almost done. Should follow through. There's the damage. Inspired gets one back. Still don't think he wants to take that 2v2. I mean, it could have been good for EG if the dive had actually happened. Now the dive comes around, Ooh, but they don't have a good delayed look, but actually Aluya taking too much damage. Level five, Jojo's still here. Aluya does not have flash, barely not back up, and Kauri just picks up a freebie. It's me that the first two kills were split between them. But lane has rotated into the mid lane. And let's see what they can actually make of this. Suplex available for both of them. Yep, Niski now trying to go back in, but it's by a T. Nails Niski with the ulti, and that W is gonna find its mark. So while they have not been able to converse yet, there is still that ticking time bomb portion of the Draven kit. It does not need to go instantly in your favor. Now Drake has been spotted up. Inspired does have the ultimate if they want to turn JoJo's around, and Matt Lines might get pinned. Oh, the suplex looking for Unforgiven. He had to flash forward, but JoJo still in the mix, getting a little bit low, though, but another great face breaker. Gets his way out of there. Volky gets the kill. Heals up the set. Niski caught completely unawares. And EG as JoJo dives in, finds a beautiful team fight. And that is just a dragon. We have this Herald fight. See if Mad Lions want to contest. Turn on to Armut. Buff is out. Still has to flash, and Volky now gonna follow up again. So much CC on this team, and the Tankion's not gonna live. Mad Lions are gonna be losing a lot, so this is crucial for Mad Lions. You cannot back down now. Gonna be tricky. GP already down to the bottom side. Kaiser gonna start it off. That's a beautiful pole rise. Finds him, and Jojo finds, I think, three off the stun. And oh my goodness, Kaiser just explodes to the face breaker. Inspired dashes away. Jojo, though, is finally fouled. But here comes the impact. Big barrel combo attempted with the flash aggressively in. But it does not connect. The Mad Lions might have got away with it. But Siva with the UV knockup is going in. But there's the shutdown. Niski turns it around with Armour there. But impact is still going. They have extra carries. Unforgiven. Forced to flush away is the Sejuani prison. Snipes out unforgiven. And Alyoya and Kaiser are the only two left. And Alyoya, not long for this world. EG get the delayed ace at the dragon fight. But in this game from EG, they've all just been performing. I think it goes back as well to the side of Mad Lions. They've really struggled playing through that bot side. This time around, they had all the tombs they needed for success, but they've not found it. Big Kaiser. Kaiser flank. Yeah, this is not a bad angle, but now they're going to spot him. Jojo on the front line, but again, relatively tanky. Pops the W. Shield is off now. Armor with a decent ulti, but that's a great zoning ultimate out of Orkin. Ironically, is Kaiser now going to be caught out of position in EG. They find the pick in the pincer. EG, who have taken over this rift. Almost 7,000 gold ahead, and that number is not slowing down anytime soon. Kaiser, oh, no ultimate. I just know if it would have mattered, but yeah, no ulti, definitely <laughs> dead. <laughs> we'll see how they want to do this one. Jojo Pune has ult and can always just rip El Yoya away from the Baron for an uncontested smite. Mad Lions will probably have to take the fight if they want to stop this. Jojo trying to intercept Armut, I think. No, he's going to get stunned up instead. He's still got the Yumi attached, but Jojo is just so strong. The front line will not be stopped. But actually a snipe on the other side onto Kauri, who's trying to play 1v2, but Impact, the ever the team fight is peeled for him, and Jojo has done the dive with the rest of the squad. Still alive, and that wad is starting to feel a touch too heavy for Mad Lions. That's a great knockup, but that's a double kill for Impact who completely shut it down, find their own way back into the game. And despite the damage profile being so mixed, yes, you still are oh, not so mixed. Yes, you still have the true damage from set. It just does not matter in the game when EG is so far ahead of the curve and they're just completely stomping them. Luton Zumi is doing work, by the way. Falcon has been sniping Unforgiven for the last minute or so. Gotta go. Indeed. Yeah, Niski got two towers, has to come back though again. They're literally just tanking two Nexus towers, EG! You can't be doing this on the world stage to your opponents. The Yumi does go down as Unforgiven gets one back, but the Bash Bros are back in form as Armut will be slain. And everyone else still left alive as EG look to end this game. 3v4 four defense. Vulcan did die in that. No one to keep people healed up. Jojo Q. <laughs> Gets helped by Kaiser as well, alive. in terms of pushing matter. the Haymaker forward. Unforgiven is going to try and find his way out, but Kauri now going to put the finishing touches of EG's game. 2-0 now up on the line.
Also for Mad Lions, bot lane want to see them step up. They have had the aggressive matchup. All three lanes have not really found advantages despite that fact. Ping going down into the top river tri brush. Inspired skipped blue buff. Wants to come at this awkward timing window here. Armut extended in the lane, has ghost, no flash. Not quite level three there for impact, but might be relatively close. Now it dings it. That's going to be the call for Inspired to join up. It's no flash, it's ghost only. Armut going to pop up, but impact already on there. Needs a one more auto. That's going to be the stun. Lines it up. Inspired knocks it down. It's first blood again, this time to the EG jungle. See us back up, so it must have just been a wave thing. As Hello. I pointed out earlier. Impact did stop a recall on Arm. It doesn't have enough... Uh, oh, here we go. Flash, slow, Q, solo, easy bolo there for Inspired. I feel bad for Niski as well, getting uh, kind of like we talked about that double counter pick, but he has done a great job surviving this lane phase thus far. Impact, what a roam! That's gonna be the kill in mid lane, and Jojo Pyun capitalizes! Jojo gonna poke in here as well. They know the enemy bot lane is still there. Algoya, though, does successfully finish the Herald. Fade score pop, Vulcan the target, hand shook back, bounces back to carry though, and should be okay for now, but Vulcan, a lot of spears there. The Ren pulled out, but Kaiser now gonna get turned back around. Uh -oh. Now he knows the coast is clear, but isn't that clear? Unforgiven, jumping back in, exhaust is there. Great Winter's Bite there for Vulcan. Needs to slow things down, but Unforgiven still chasing. East slow Q coming up. Not enough spears, but Ooh. the Q is there. And the damage isn't enough as Nitsky solos out Jojo. At least on the other side, they get one, but signs of lives as well. And finally, Unforgiven and Kaiser having the aggressive picks, finding a kill. This just looks like Jojo. Uh, He's flexing. Yeah. Oof. Does not get the full extension of that W either. Tries to go back, but finds Armut. <laughs> I mean, you take the good and the bad with JoJo here, trying to make something happen. Does get caught out. I said solo kill, very wrong about that one. <laughs> Happening in the middle of three people. It's an isolated death, but not really a solo kill, being gifted over to Niski afterwards. He is asking himself, is it singed? It's not, but he's, you know, channeling some of the energy there between the two towers. Most little, certainly. Little dirty farming there on top side. Drake is up and available. Inspired finds the Q. JoJo under fire. Alioya gonna get kicked back in. Very nice alley-oop, and Alioya is gonna die to Jojo with impact. Now in mid lane, gonna get rendered, but not enough damage. Not forgiven. Are you too far forward? Vulcan tries to make the play. The hostile takeover, though. Absolutely wild out of Kaiser, and Unforgiven is gonna find the Kauri. Kauri with the turnaround of all turnarounds. Inspired is just too strong. What a massive Aphelius ultimate that comes down for Kauri there before he finally goes down. In front of him for EG side, you're open to this hostile takeover. But as long as that is between him and Mad Lions, they can't really engage for Mad Lions. So if they can't get away past the Braum, it's very difficult. I'm surprised EG are starting this one up again. Inspire getting low. Committed a TP for it as well. Good little gravity while they're in the Choco. Kalestorm is nice. Vulcan bops away though. Ulti out of Kauri is going to be countered by Fate's Call as Kaiser is pulled back. Ooh. That, oh, no, he's oh, just dead. Man. He walks into the turret. The he, little turrets. He didn't see it. Jojo Pyun now keep going. Inspired also is tagged up by Lioya, but again, a bit of restraint. Now we can faint in. Goes once more. Q lands onto Unforgiven. Impact finds the ulti on Tanisky. Trying to make the big plays there. Inspired with the kick. Jojo Pyun shuts down the enemy. Kalista. is going to die as well. EG have done it again. Damage getting done. And Mad Lions again, not really the tools to get things started, but they must do something. Slowly beating here, mid lane slowly but surely falling down. Engage comes out, impact starts it. again. Armut this time can't get up the W. Jojo low, but he's gonna go back out of the carry on a killing spree. Coming up clutch when it matters is inspired. Fainting in once again, buying time, buying space. Is this might be it? Base then flash out of Niski. Kaiser dead. 4v5 base defense needed here by Mad Lions to keep their world's dreams alive. Second inhibitor falls. You Impact know. does have teleport, he's recalling now. He wanna set it up as the TP instead. He gets stopped, but they continue. They're going for it. EG know that it's so close. They're saying, I am the fire. You are but smoke. Threading the win is EG with its fire charging on in. Carries on a rampage. EG looking to wipe the lions off the rift. And they fights off their demons and takes down Mad Lions. Every champion is able to jump in and follow up. If Shao ever mispositions a little bit, he will just be cut out. So it feels like to me, like sure, RNG have the same engage and dive potential, but need to be a little bit more careful through for the side of DFM. So one thing I'm surprised about here, boys, it is almost 10 minutes into the game. There are plenty of engage mechanisms on both sides, but we are yet to find first blood still. Let's see if I cast a curse. If Breed's gonna get jumped on here hard, Flash, stun, oh. Evie has the damage with the burn, and the first blood actually goes over to Harp. Too much 
much like they're angling for with Ming waiting off to the side. But if they can find a fight uh, coming to Six Dragon... Oh, baby, you're wrong. That's not where you wanted to be. They're ready to... If Evie steps forward just a little bit, they are ready to go on this. I'm surprised how much they're willing to win up here. They're also just going to end up giving DFM a free dragon. Well, there it goes. They got to try to make this play happen. Evie goes in for the flash, gets away from the seismic shove, keeping himself alive nicely so far. But 3v1 is just too much, and RNG get the kill. Play against an LPL team to make it to main stage. So, so far, uh, hopefully off to a good start. And everybody, I just want to go ahead and point out, there are no champions on the bottom half of Summoner's Rift. Everybody's ready to party here on the top side, and Evie is is not invited. He'll be killed immediately as Harp is the next one in their sights. Stunned up by Sejuani, but DFM has their jungler here ready to maybe have a counterattack or at least keep everybody else safe. Evie as well, gonna wanna find some sort of impact, but just hasn't been able to do it yet. And when we talked about Yaharong, kinda, oh, hang on a second. Oh boy, Evie's ready on the flank. This time it's Wei being forced to flash out, trying to escape away from those roots. And oh. now Wei and everybody on RNG can turn it right back around. He knows he's gotta back up because RNG have plenty of bodies in this top half of the map. RNG now getting their guys back in position here at the Tier 1 in mid. So Yudapon's not able to take that and knock it down with Tristana. Weaver's wall ready to come in as Wei will look for the flank here on Harp. Teleport's now about to show up for both sides. Evie still has no cannon ulti, but Wei has no flash and no way out. Steel's gonna grab the kill on the enemy jungler, but now Harp is low and Evie is the same. Another TP showing up. Yaharong's made his way in. DFM grab a second kill and Evie still survives. Breathe tries to get away, but Steel's got him locked down, and Yaharong seals his fate. Yudapon goes right back in. Xiaohu has to flash, and DFM just crushed RNG in a team fight. This is where it gets a little bit risky for RNG. Keep your eyes on Evie to see if he can make the play with that big ultimate. All righty, this could tell us so much about the fate of this game. DFM's tanks are going to start up the Drake, but they're not going to commit heavy DPS to this, not just yet. Now they'll pull it out, start to put a little bit more damage into it. Evie remains on the flank. He wants to be able to find a slicing maelstrom that can really change the fight. Drake goes over to DFM. Steel fires off the ulti. Wei takes a little bit of damage, but not a whole lot. Nautilus ulti back on the steel. They're just both hitting tanks. Ming goes in, finds Evie, but he doesn't find him well enough. It's Ming who ends up giving him a freebie. Knock, knock, the food's here. DFM get a freebie on top of their third Drake. And when you're talking about Xiaohu and Gala, the other thing to remember, no Guardian Angels, no stopwatches. That's what makes it even deadlier. Evie getting caught now again, just when I got done praising him, it could be lights out. Ming goes over the Hextech gate. Evie goes into the ground. Zero and four, unfortunately, for the Lightning. So let's see it. DFM starting up the Drake, uh, losing a little bit of patience there on it, so it'll reset slightly. Just above 6K health now. DPS continuing here. Steel fires off the LT. Ming's gonna be here in the front. Harp tanking back on the other side. Drake is low. It is secured. Hextech stole over to DFM. RNG tries to run, but Unipod's still ready to go. Breathe gets one back on the other side. And Xiaohu's doing an amazing job cutting him out. RNG with an outplay, but Heavy gets the ult that will slice right through them. Three for three. And if Yaharong ends up ever drawing multiple members down to the bottom side, immediately turn over towards the Baron. I feel like it's also important to mention, right, the fact that DFM have two TPs, RNG only have one, so... Oh, wait. boy! Yaharong getting jumped on here. RNG trying to commit to this, but now they got to be careful. Soul Unbound's ready to go. Evie shows up. Slicing Maelstrom's already going. Evie goes into stasis now to buy himself a little bit of extra time. The ulti comes down, but Evie goes out. They're still looking for a little bit more damage. Yaharong's being chased. He gets away from three. A double kill back over to Harp. It's a two for one, favoring the side of DFM. All of this play-in stage, and now it's the reality for RNG to have to go near. Evie with the Flash Maelstrom ready to join in. Breathe is over the wall looking for some sort of a flank. Yaharong's gonna keep him away. DFM ready to turn this into a PvP type of fight, but it's Harp who dies first. RNG find themselves a potential angle. The Drake's still at half. DFM have lost a man, but RNG have injured health bars. Xiaohu tries to fire the Weaver's Wall through there and disrupt him. Doesn't get a lot of value out of it. DFM taking it very slow, very steady. RNG now going to be the ones taking the Drake aggro. Yudapon, keep your eyes on him. Tristana with that Guardian Angel ready to go. 
DFM trying to keep RNG back. Remember that Breathe does have the teleport. He would be able to retreat and rejoin if he felt he needed to. Yaharam clearing out some vision. Yudapon trying to get the wave pushed up. Now you got a TP coming back in from Evi. The Elder Drake's down to 2k. Elder Drake will be secured by Gala. But now Evi's coming into the fight. Gala's gonna be taken low. He won't be taken out. He fires back. Elder execution. Gala finally dies. Everybody with Xiao Hu has been deleted. And DF are marching down mid lane. But they were so injured from the previous fight, they couldn't get anything out of it. Yaharong has chased Xiao Hu to the ends of the earth and stopped him from getting back in time. DFM will do what no minor region team has done before and take down RNG. Gonna stop the Amumu from being able to get in, deny some access, as well as pairing pairs well with Sejuani. Again, just all ins on the fact of this huge AoE team fight that they've been setting up just for. Hovering around mid right now, making sure that Yaharon can get that wave in no problem. And that way doesn't have an answer play in mid. But Way actually gonna be looking towards his bot side. Oh boy, he's ready to go. Harp's gonna have to back up here a little bit. Tries to dash back to his ally, but he only dashes a little bit. It won't be enough. Flash or not, first blood over to Gal. Walking up from the bottom side, which leaves Yudapon all alone. Everybody always does the red, white, don't fight meme. Mogala just says, get this dude the hell out of here. He's not worried about it whatsoever as the mid lane fight continues. Harp jumping back away. Wei is ready to come in and try to secure this kill. Harp gets himself back out with a nice flash. And DFM comes back and finds the kill. They're getting the money. And bottom side, Yudapon's grabbing the kill on Gala too. Double kill back in mid for Steel. It's DFM all over Summoner's Rift. In, try to see oh, if we he get gets to a kill it. here. All right. I, I think he just jumps in, yeah. And Yudapon has the healing. Gala doesn't get the initial damage and uh, just completely overestimates how much he can get done. We are going to start up the dragon here. RNG are in position. I think he, if still, like, if DFM are able to get this dragon and lean mid, they can immediately turn down the Rift Tower because everyone in RNG's bot side. Ming jumps on Harp, but again, this is usually not a super successful plan to go after the Braum. And indeed, it is not just yet, but Amumu might be just as much of a problem. Yudapon gets the snipe on Ming. And DFM are looking to see if they can pick off RNG as they start to move through. Wei charges in there looking for the Spectral Maw, but instead he's gonna be found. Wei tries to get out. Yaharong burns away, and Wei ends up getting the kill credit. This is the kind of fight RNG is looking for. Breathe coming around from the side. Gets caught up here a little bit as Yudapon does have some CC available with the Gravitum. But RNG are hunting, so the pick onto Yaharong should give the dragon. And this was just a little bit too hype out of DFM there. Evi doesn't even have an ulti ready to go with that TP. Yudapon using the Gale Force there to reposition away from the Infernal Chains. Xiao Hu coming in, gets exhausted. They're ready to fire back here a little bit, but they oh. cannot fire enough. It was close, but no cigar. And it's RNG smoking DFM. Gala's gonna knock Evi right back away, but he may still die here with the red buff pit. They get the kill, but now Xiao Hu's gotta be careful. Yaharong staying on top of the distortion point as Evi gets another one, and DFM punch right back. Breathe is up here in the brushes, but DFM are lurking nearby. Breathe is gonna go after Evi here. Slicing Maelstrom comes back out. Harp goes over the wall. Steel goes over the wall. Breathe's trying to run away, but that's a whole lot of ice. Breathe is stunned up. Evi's the only one who actually deals damage out of these three, though, and he is popped. He is dropped, and Breathe is getting away clean and easy. RNG are gonna kick in the doors. They're on to the big purple worm as Yudapon goes after Xiao Hu, but with Yudapon down, this is tragedy for DFM. Wei looks for an opportunity to join up here on the flank, but the play is already over. Breathe tries to escape. Yaharong with the fate sealed over the wall, looking for the RNG top laner. He won't get him. Instead, it's Yaharong dead first, and Evi is going to make a nice side of fries. Double kill over to Xiao Hu. You were talking about Xiao Hu and Breathe playing together in sides, Lethality Aatrox, plus how massive this Leblanc is. Anyone is just gone. Well, Gala gets away from Steel jumping over the wall, but then he gets caught afterwards. Yaharong looking for the RNG 80 carry, but won't be able to find him. Xiao Hu gets caught out by the Slicing Maelstrom. He gets a kill, and he gets away for now. Steel stays on him, and Steel cleans him up. But they've already killed two on the side of DFM. Yudapon is gone, and Breathe will look for more. Gala's still ready to go, ready enough at least. 
as Breathe will keep the Yone away. It is a two for one. Now it looks like they're trying to bait the Baron. See if they can draw DFM in, and Harp's gonna answer. Oh boy, there goes Harp. There goes Harp. Gala grabs that kill. Yaharong cannot snap back anywhere. And here comes Way to follow it up and take down Steel to complete the ace for RNG. DFM's gonna need a miracle to be able to survive. It's another hundred seconds of Baron they have to endure. And I mean, we, we've now gotten to the point where Gala does have the Infinity Edge, so pretty much being at full power for the Tristana. You, oh, oh, they're just gonna go boy, for the fight. there it is. Bandage toss, flash, ulti. Goodbye, Aphelios. Goodbye, Braum. Evia was cute, but that's about all you're gonna get. Steel tries to get away. Yaharong running out now as well. Gala may have died, but it cost the entire game to do it. DFM with only their mid laner left. Fall to RNG. It was a rocky early game, but RNG will bounce back in game number two. DFM tried to run the same comp twice, and RNG learned from mistakes. RNG got it figured out. Yaharong's gonna go in with a fate sealed, but I think the fate is his own. He goes back into the fountain. RNG has plenty of time. Xiaohu drops the ignite, and he even gets the fadeaway kill. Series is tied up. Lucian Nami in the bottom lane for RNG. Trindamir in the top side for DFM. Gentlemen, uh, what the hell's going on? Waiting to walk into the river here, but now he's gonna make his way down. We know he's not seen. Gala and Ming are under pressure, but it was all a bait all along. Utapon just gonna get ran through with that sword and it's first blood to the man with the guns. Make it two as Wei picks up another, and it's RNG getting the money. Spotted out, but he's already pushed up pretty far. All right, Breathe, let's see what you can do. Can he get himself out of this one? Infernal Chains are gonna pull Evie back. Breathe tries to walk away, flashes out of the Arctic Assault, but gets tagged by the second hit of the Flail. Still just trying to walk this one back towards mid lane. Goes over the wall here with the Umbral Dash. Ready to still try to keep fighting and kiting away from these guys. Q3 hits. Breathe is not going anywhere. DFM gets one back. Already hits level six, so it makes sense it steals up here. Oh, man, this is where you can just get scuba levels with your dives, boys. It's so difficult to deal with Trinomir in these situations, especially just as a level five Aatrox. Breathe is still hanging around. The turret aggro comes out. It's initially on to steal. That was a bit of a screw up there from DFM. Now Evie's underneath the turret, but Waves already showed up. This was a massive mistake from Detonation. Focus me and focus. They will RNG get two more. Here is them, because I thought the RNG were going to try and make a play off of this bot lane wave. I try and crash, but Wei actually went to the top side, so they don't have the numbers here to try and make anything happen. It looks like they're trying to draw steel in, so they're going to make the play mid. Oh, Yaharong getting away there. Xiao Hu had the stolen Sejuani ulti to fire at him, and it ends up being enough. They get the kill. Now bottom side, Steel's oh. gonna try to use his Sejuani ulti, throws it out, Ming tanks it, trying to save Gala, no. and the Longspring oh. Blade does not land. Nicely done, but the fights aren't done across the map. Breathe tries to get away, Evie oh. needs one more hit to cut oh. him down, and he gets it. Evie lands the solo. Yeah, the, uh, there's definitely still possibility for RNG to throw this as this game does go on. And I like that DFM now have been posturing aggressively around the map. Seems like they're trying to find an opportunity to use this Rift Herald. Way though, gonna be doing some hunting of his own. All right, they're after the Nami because they know that Lucian can get away from it with Cleanse. Ming stays alive, and now with the wave going forward, the revenge is swift, and they punish Steel. Evie's forced in the ulti, and these are not the plays they needed from that Trindamir. Breathe takes out Utapon, and Yaharong will stumble away with his pet cat, the only one left alive surviving the slaughter. Yeah, and that's just one of the things, right? Since RNG are so far ahead, they have so many more options available to them. Any play DFM makes, they will be at a disadvantage. And maybe now, TPing Yaharong in. They're going for Breathe, but Breathe recognizes the safest place to go is actually towards his teammates. Xiao Hu in trouble. Xiao Hu destroyed. Big pick there for DFM. If they can get something else off the back of it and turn it into more, 
Yumi Slow comes out. Yaharong and the rest of DFM continuing their chase. Yaharong has to leave. Breathe's ready to turn it around now, too. Gala following right behind him, ready to go. Dashes in with a Gale Force, putting damage into the health bar of the enemy AD carry. Evie has the Yumi ready to go. Breathe tries to get out. Evie popping the ulti, staying alive, but he's got to get back away now. Wei still looking for the chance to go in and finish somebody off. Charges up the Spectral Maw, but won't go any further. DFM, they got the one kill. Uh, it's just great to see, especially because Gala, back in the LPL, was having a bit of a, a slower season than he typically was. Not really the huge standout for RNG. It was Xiao who primarily throughout the regular season carrying them to victory. And now, once again, kind of slowly easing into that international form that we always see. Him. But that's the thing, right? He was more comfortable on picks like the Lucian rather than the Sivers or the Zeris and those kind of things, right? So definitely kind of going back towards the comfort as Ming is oh, gone. Oh. Well, that was definitely not comfortable for the support of RNG. He is the one who has to be the big carry for the side of DFM. Yeah. So the fact that you have this five minutes. Oh, Gala getting hit with the Sejuani ulti, but again, the cleanse. It's always ready to go. Breathe now coming in from the side. Uniform Evi separated from the rest of the team, but now Breathe is under fire. Evi forced to ult, stuck in CC for an incredibly long time. He's still trying to get away, but Wei is on the hunt and on a killing spree. Steel now has to try to hobble out. RNG still looking for a little bit more. Xiaohu goes in with E2, but a nice spell shield is going to stop him in his tracks. RNG have killed the enemy top laner, and they'll try to find some more. Now we can see them playing right now in Fog of War. They might be able to get on top of Steel as the wraparound comes through. They're coming around the long, long way. Xiaohu goes in and Steel is about to go down. Unipone will drop first and the Yumi ulti won't save anyone. RNG get what they were looking for and Baron will be the reward. Sees him in the brush with the sweeper. Evie is still able to get away thanks to the spinning slash. But the rest of RNG is ready and waiting. Sejuani is not a tank at this point in the game. Like you said, Flowers, everything on DFM's minimap is dark and terrifying, so... RNG and they are feasting on DFM here in this third game of the series. Breed is going to draw the attention of two up here in the top side. I think he may have drawn a little bit too much attention as he tries to retreat back to his team. They won't be able to kill him, but he ended up doing his job as the mid lane loses the inhibitor. Beautiful goes into the stasis trying to survive. They're still ready to kill him. It's one down, it's two down. How many more are they going to get? Evie's in the ulti and he tries to spin away, but it won't happen. Yaharong, he dies too. A triple kill over to Xiaohu and RNG. G will take this game. RNG delivering on the expectations. Such a dominant game three coming out from them. And DFM have to go back to the drawing board and again try to find that winning formula they had in game one. We'll have to see exactly how RNG are going to try and play at this early game because it feels like, again, they need to get these leads or you just fall victim to the team fight of DFS. Oh boy, my friends. Here we go. Top side, it's heavy in danger. There comes your Spectral Maw. Won't hit, won't matter. First blood of the breathe. Nothing to it. And that was just a solo kill coming through as well. We didn't have anything else happening, but now die for DFM. Yep, they're bringing it in, but is it going to be enough? Unipone going for it. He tries to cleanse, but he dies before his butt hits the ground. Back then, they got 3 0 so, you know, they have stepped up, taking a game off RNG again, another close game too, and this game's still not over just yet. Okay, Harp's gonna get punished here, maybe nice job popping the Blast Plant. They need a bit more damage to finish him off here. They're gonna grab the kill. DFM getting punished. RNG just stopping him again. Walks over some vision, so Evie should know enough to get away in time. Yeah, and the fact that we can see him about to Meg as well. Breed's already been chunked out a little bit. I like they don't go for that. There it is. They're going to blow up Ming, or are they? No way he gets out of this one. He uses the stasis. Unipone dies, and DFM's hopes are going with them. Wei wants to grab another one. The piercing arrow right through Steel's heart. The reset champion into the reset champion. That should be illegal. The amount of distance he got to carry there to finish off these members. And Wait, they're still going. Oh, no. It's a disaster. Listen, the reset champion into the reset, into the follow-up, and then it's... Ah, just, 
Get it off my screen. <laughs> it's it took him like five seconds to get from where he started yeah. to to where he ended. So yeah. Way once again, three oh and two on the Viego. Oh no. Oh no. Harp. Harp. Oh no, they're just gonna spin him right back out. Gobble, 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 gobble. Gobble, 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 gobble. They're, they're, they're just screwing around. They're having a good time. <laughs> There's three right. wards in the last mode to stop Harp All right, from getting there we away. Go. There we go. Eight to zero. RNG is just having fun with it at this point. Breathe. Nice repose. Nice dodge. Daring is exactly... Who, whoever designed Fiora, get Fiora's champ designer on the phone. I want to hear, like, this has to be what they were envisioning for playing with your opponents and dancing around them as he does it again, again and again and again and again and again. And now Yaharong trying to get himself away, but it ain't going to work too well. Or is it? Harp going into block Shao Hu. As Yaharong, there it is. Spectral Maw flies out, Way flies in. Breathe going to start putting pressure onto this top lane turret as well, picking up at least one, of, if not two, of these fights before the turret fights phase. Yeah, looks like DFM though going to try and right. find the pick. <laughs> Can they do it the third time? Okay, this time they brought three dudes. Can Breathe escape all three of them? He goes back in. He reposts a whole hell of a lot of CC, but he's got very little mana left to work with. He tries the lunge yet again, and finally. Through hell and high water, <laughs> they come for him again and again. Control over the vision for RNG. Looks like TFM is setting up for a pick, though. They could look in the mid lane and go, right, well, Udipon's backed away. We won't fully aggress on towards the turret, but trying to see if they can catch the reinforcements from RNG. Xiao Hu, he's going to get flash, chain, CC, and he's dead before he's able to self ulti. Nicely done from DFM to find something there, but now they got to be careful and try to get away. Harp, he used the flash to make the play. He's got no way out. And the tilt is going to continue. So I'm glad that they went for it. Now let's see what Evie can do down here. He sticks around trying to get this turret, but it ain't going to happen. And now Ming has applied the pressure and Breathe has applied the repost. Poor little Nar, you are not long for this world. Good night. Breathe gets his second kill. LPL? Uh-oh, <laughs> do We do that all the time. Oh, boy, we do that all the time. I feel like I'm failing the test <laughs> that again. That was like the top eSports FPX special. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm failing the test again, my friends. But uh, it's DFM who are the most worried among all of us as Evie tries to get away from Breathe. The rest of RNG are just going to fall back a little bit. They're making sure they don't get caught out. Run, Evie, run. Run, Evie, run. Run, Evie, run. Run, Evie, run. I don't think he's going to be able to no. run much further. Breathe's even going to get the reduced cooldown there on the launch. Harp will go down first in the 4v4 back in mid as Breathe finishes the kill on Evi. RNG just ain't showing any signs of stop. Honestly, even if it's Yaharong, I'm pretty sure Breathe 2v1's Evi and Yaharong right now. Oh, boy. Oh, well, we might just out. be able to figure that out, my friend. Evi is about to die. Xiaohu killed Yaharong while he tried to teleport. They caught him. And that's both solo laners gone is level nine it almost takes two harps to make a breathe and they do not want to go anywhere near this man breathe jumps in Udipone going for a couple of auto attacks repost flies out as harp goes for the flash stun into the stun into the gun and there it is but it's traded across the map for steel but that's not the case. RNG is going to continue moving through the enemy jungle, bounce back and forth, control the vision, make it dark, make it scary, and make it so DFM doesn't know where they can walk. Breathe is back up on the top side. He has no TP, but I don't think RNG is really too concerned about that. 4v5, they've still got more gold in combat power. And that's why Breathe TP topside. He wanted to make sure that he could actually get the push right as this bot wave is going to collapse as well. And you can see the Sejuani ult from Steel fired out there in desperation. Xiaohu was able to evade it as Evi goes in and finds a stun on the way. Oh, wow. gala has got the kill right back onto Evi. Yaharong's gonna die. Wei goes in again. Yudapone barely escaping, using the cleanse, barely staying alive. Wei wants another one, but he won't get Steel. He will force both tanks of DFM back into their own base back into their own fountain, and it's looking like the end of the series here, as Xiao Hu will end up dying there at the very end. Udipone goes down as well, however, and that means that RNG is on to the Nexus. DFM tried their best, but RNG will take them down and punch their ticket to the main group stage.